I'm so glad these things exist. Focus studies weren't a thing um, when I was at school. They weren't even a thing when there's more people at school. They're very, very new. The idea is like this. Um, in the last few years, when you've been learning mathematics, you'll learn a topic like, say, geometry, right? And then we say, okay, well, what real world kinds of applications of geometry are there? Where do you find triangles in real life? Where do you find rectangles, circles, cylinders, etc.? Okay? So you take a topic, you start from that, and then you try and look at different areas that that topic applies to. Yeah? So we're familiar with this. We've seen this before. In the focus studies, we're kind of turning that around. We're saying, look, there's one particular area of life I'm interested in. And I want to know, tell me all the mathematics that relate to this area. Okay? So it's kind of like a more project-based sort of focused way of learning things. Now, when you have a look, we've been looking at like AM1, FM1, etc. And we're treating them as quite separate blocks. We're going to be doing one, two, three, more or less continuously. This is basically our work to the end of the term. Okay? Focus study driving one, focus study driving two, focus study driving three. If you have a look at what these are talking about, in a nutshell, what this is is how do you get a car and all the finance stuff? How do you keep the car and all the finance stuff? And how do you stay alive in the car? That's it. Very simple, okay? So if you want to understand all those three ideas, get it, keep it, stay alive, there's lots of mathematics that will help you with that. And you can see, for example, one to hear, understanding like the two main ideas we've been looking at are stopping distance. So you might remember there was a question in your um, a rates question uh, in the question in the paper you just did, which was about someone looking at their phone while they were driving and then looking up, right? Yeah. So that idea of going through time and then there's like a reflex. Suppose they see someone on the road and then they break. Okay, we call that stopping distance. How long does it take you to stop your vehicle? Does anyone know what BAC stands for? Blood alcohol. Okay, so blood alcohol content is a very, very important idea. And there's lots of maths that governs it. So we're going to look at that under um, focus study driving three. So this is just a broad overview. Um, I will also show you uh, what's the best way to do this. Yeah, this will just fit it. Um, we have one, two, three, four, nine. Nine topics. No, not topics. Uh, exercises that we're going to wait up. There we go. Uh, look at, and you can see how they're broken up across the different little modules that we're looking at. You don't need to write this down. I will draw your attention to it as we go through. But today, we're going to have a look at cost of purchase, financing a purchase, which is you know all the extra stuff when you can't actually afford to buy your car. Um, that's the, the next part. So that's all about getting the car. Yeah. These are costs that start to be worried about once you've got the car and you've had it for an amount of time. And then all this stuff down the bottom, you can see. These are all the safety kind of focused bits, right? And you can also um, sort of notice, it reaches that little branches of maths that maybe we haven't looked at this year that much. We looked at some stats last year, averages, medians, um, not standard deviation, um, range, those kinds of things. So we're gonna address some of those at the end of this year, okay? But that gives you kind of a um, bird's eye view of what mathematics and driving is about. Does that kind of make sense? We're looking to buy a car today. Um, in my life, I have bought four cars. Two used, two new. Like these are the actual, well, these are not the actual cars that I bought, but these are the models, okay? Um, and, I beg your pardon? The white Toyota. I currently have this one and this one, but I drive that one, so anyway. Um, you can see I'm biased towards Japanese cars. I I have bought four cars, like I said, two used and two new, and it seems to me, every time I've done this, right, like, I, I don't know if anyone likes going to the dentist, but I prefer going to the dentist over buying a car, right? Buying a car is one of the most crazy, complicated, like, it seems like the dealer is intentionally trying to confuse you um, in what you have to pay for, all the different costs that are involved. Uh, and by the way, there's a very, very good reason not a valid reason, but a good reason why they're actually doing that to you and intentionally confusing you, uh, into what are the costs, and really it should be plural, what are the costs involved when you are purchasing a car, okay? Now, there are six main ones that I want to tell you about, and they're on, in your table. There are six main costs, and they are paid to three different groups of people. 